So, good, good morning, everybody. My name is Lauro Rossi. I'm Early Warning System Program Director at Chima Research Foundation. For those of you who don't know uh, what, what's Chima, Chima is a research organization that belongs to the Italian uh, civil protection system with explicit mandate to advise the Italian civil protection department on flood and forest fire. Today I'm going to talk about the impact-based multi-hazard early warning system that we have implemented in some regions in Latin America. And these systems are based on the Wetro platform. The Wetro platform is a real-time uh, impact scenario builder, which allows the decision maker to, to take prevention action based on impact forecast. So the Wetra is not a mere hazard forecasting tool, but also integrate vulnerability and exposure. So it's the natural link between uh, forecaster and decision makers. Um, how does it work? So we have uh, several layers rep representing the uh, vulnerability, exposure, and, uh, and hazard. And by overlapping all those layers, we um, can produce uh, an impact scenario in real time, either observed or forecasted. So we're going to talk uh, some, about some concrete examples. Uh, these are the implementation that we uh, uh, have carried out in Bolivia, thanks to the, the financial support of the Italian Corporation, the Italian Agency for um, uh, Development Cooperation, and the, in this project were executed by FAO. So first of all, we implemented a limited area model, the WRF, um, at 10 kilometers. That was already five, uh, five years ago. It was developed in cooperation with NCAR, and it's operational now since uh, 2013. Um, already with that, we had some direct impact just based on um, meteorological impacts. And here is an example of um, cumulated solid precipitation um, that uh, caused uh, the interruption on the main road that connects La Paz to the Amazon plain. Uh, so this kind of, there was a kind of already scenario, already just with meteorological data. Uh, for flow forecast, we have implemented uh, a modeling chain in three um, watershed with different, very different morphologic and climatic features. And I'll show here an example of how does it work. So uh, we have global circulation model. Uh, we nested into it a limited area model. We apply a, a, down, a statistic downscaling procedure. And then with the fully distributed hydrological uh, model, we have a discharge forecast, a kind of spaghetti plot, and, so, and also the probability to exceed a given, um, a given threshold. Uh, we didn't stop here but we also uh, connect to this chain um, an hydraulic model, a 2D hydraulic model, and then uh, by um, overposing layers on vulnerability and exposure, we actually can have a scenario of the forecasted impact. So the last part of the chain is uh, quite uh, uh, an element of novelty. Um, this application in the Chapara River Basin, one of the most raining area of Bolivia. Um, this is an example of cumulated, preci cumulated precipitation, and this is the same precipitation observed by satellite uh, for an event of 2000, January 2014. Um, this is an aggregation of predicted precipitation on watershed. Um, and this is the uh, hydrological forecast in the deterministic way, probabilistic way. And if we plot the peak of each uh, spaghetti plot, we can read from the graph the probability to exceed 
one of the threshold. Uh, so then we focus at the outlet of the watershed where we implemented a fully to the hydraulic model. And this is a scenario in terms of others, others in particular in terms of water depth, um, uh, velocity, or other zone. Um, for this scenario, we take into account the stability, the stability of people to, to flood. Um, then, uh, with this other scenario, we overlap uh, our assets on the territory, settlements, buildings, roads, and if we focus on this uh, part of the screen, we see that uh, there is some overlapping between the exposure and the hazard, so the system can um, return some information of the possible uh, population affected and also dwelling. So based on this scenario, we can produce um, an impact-based uh, multi-hazard bulletin for, for each type of scenario uh, in a semi-automated way. This is an example of the platform, this is an example of the bulletins. We can repeat the same experiment by just changing periods. In this case, we're, we are talking about uh, forest fires, and this is a prediction of um, potential f uh, forest fires, uh, or potential forest fire event of October 2015. Um, the same thing, but uh, we now change the focus from population to livestock. So we change a little bit the, the exposure layers, and uh, we, we can have also impact on, 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 lives, mm, on livestock. This information are used here to uh, displace um, uh, livestock. This is, um, to, 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 let's say, to take action to prevent, to protect uh, livestock. This is an example of what they call Loma Ganadera, which is um, a kind of open air shelter where uh, the, the livestock can be stored uh, in case of an event, and then evacuated by boat. Um, an implementation, uh, an next implementation, we are going to implement the same platform in um, uh, in Misione, the Misione is the province of the north of Argentina, for the Uruguay catchment. Um, and then, uh, just uh, want to tell this initiative, uh, thanks to an agreement through, um, between the Italian Civil Protection Department and the WMO, now that the water platform is available for any members. So any members of WMO can request this platform and um, um, it will be installed, at, at least a basic version of this platform. Um, on, on their countries. Uh, this platform is also a concrete contribution to the Sendai frame of global targets with particular emphasis to global uh, target uh, F, which is about international cooperation through adequate and sustainable support. And also global target G, substantially increase the availability of and access to multi-hazard only warning system and disaster risk information and assessment to the people by 2030. And here you have a map of the present installation of the Dewetro platform worldwide. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions, comments? To use, the, to use the platform, what is technically needed? If a country wants to participate, what's the technical preconditions they would have to meet? Yeah. Um, 
Of course, this platform was uh, built for Italy, for the Italian civil protection, where we have quite amount of data available uh, in real time. So when we implemented this in other country, we face a lot of problem, of course, and we have to adapt that. So in this case, um, uh, we try to, uh, um, let's say, to look for what is available at global level, especially from Earth observation, that can, uh, in these cases, help a lot. The, the map of rainfall that, the observed rainfall that I showed, um, it was obtained by satellite. So it's an indirect estimation of satellite. That is, of course, merged with the um, in situ observation, but um, uh, I think for in let's say uh, in data poor context, Earth observation can uh, pro provide a good support for this type of of, of systems. Um, do you think this has potential to be used in small island developing states? Thank you for the question. We didn't, we didn't agree about the question, no? sure. Um, yes, it was actually implemented in the Caribbean. There is a regional implementation. It's the only implementation at regional level, and it serves the, all the lesser until um, countries. So about 10 states, um, and the implementation there is managed by the CIMH, the um, Caribbean Institute for Meteorology and Hydrology. And that platform is uh, operational since, uh, I think, 2011. So they have uh, received, well received the platform and um, let's say, implemented uh, more stuff on it. So the, the delivery of the platform is open source. So uh, it, the, the responsibility when it is installed is of the, of the country. That gives the, the country or the institute that manages the platform the ownership to modify and, um, let's say, um, take over um, about this, this, this type of systems. <laughs>